So now we will be jumping on to the section of attenuation coefficients of a vibrating system. So in this section we will be studying two things. So number one is logarithmic decrement we will be studying logarithmic decrement so in damped oscillatory motions the displacement of the vibrating body at any time can be given as x equal to c e to the power minus kt into sine of omega dash t plus phi where the amplitude of vibration at time t is c into e to the power minus kt so the energy will decay as square of amplitude that is e to the power minus kt whole square that is e to the power minus 2 kt with time so what does logarithmic decrement means it measures the rate at which the amplitude of damped oscillatory motion dies away so it measures rate of dying away of amplitude of a damped vibratory motion so let a1 a2 a3 here be successive amplitudes at time t that is equal to t by 4 3 t by 4 5 t by 4 respectively then t is the time period of oscillation we know that the general equation of damped oscillatory motion from a body is this therefore a1 is equal to c e to the power minus kt by 4 similarly a2 is c e to the power minus 3 kt by 4 a3 is equal to c e to the power minus 5 kt by 4 like this it goes on so we can write therefore a1 by a2 is equal to a2 by a3 so it is a n minus 1 by a n in a general term that is equal to e to the power k t by 2 let it be d so therefore it is a constant term we can see from the calculations and the observations and this term is known as the logarithmic decrement the log of this term this decrement is called logarithmic decrement so if logarithmic decrement denoted as lambda then it is equal to ln of d that is kt by 2 into ln of e so we can write therefore lambda is equal to kt by 2 since ln of e is equal to 1 so this we can take the value or find out the value as ln of a1 by a2 that is equal to ln of a2 by a3 like this you can find the value thus logarithmic decrement is defined as the natural logarithm of the ratio of two successive amplitudes so it can also be defined as the natural logarithm of two successive amplitudes this is a very important and mathematical definition of logarithmic decrement now let us study about quality factor so what is the definition of quality factor ratio of maximum value of restoring force to maximum value of damping force is known as quality factor so for less value of damping quality factor will be higher and thus quality will be better so it basically defines the quality of the vibrations so if a be the amplitude 
a be the amplitude a vibration of a system the maximum value of the restoring force is small a into capital a and damping force b b dx dt max so it is maximum value of damping force and it is maximum value of restoring force so here a is the restoring force per unit displacement and b is the damping force per unit velocity as you all know so for damped oscillations the velocity for small damping can be written from the previously defined equations that is v equal to v naught e to the power minus kt cos of omega dash t where v naught in this equation v naught is equal to c omega dash we are defining c omega dash as v naught so therefore we can write v max equal to v naught e to the power minus kt so that is equal to c omega dash into e to the power minus kt that is equal to a omega dash where a is a amplitude that is c into e to the power minus kt so in case of low damping for let me write low damping that is maximum restoring force equal to small a into capital a that is m omega square a as we all know so maximum damping force equal to b v max equal to b into a omega dash that is equal to b a omega for small since for small k omega dash and omega both are equal quantities as i have defined so this must be equal to 2 into k into m into a omega why since b equal to 2 km so therefore what we can say if we denote quality factor by q it is maximum value of restoring force by maximum value of damping force so that is equal to small a into a by b into dx dt max that is maximum so as we have found out the values we can write m omega square a by 2m k omega a so that must be equal to omega by 2k so it is omega tau we are considering it since relaxation time tau is equal to 1 by 2k so therefore we can write the definition of quality factor or the mathematical equation of quality factor q is equal to omega tau so that is what quality factor is so it is the multiplication of natural angular frequency into relaxation time so now we have reached to the end of this video as well as this topic also that is of damped vibration but the only topic left is power dissipation so what is power dissipation we know that when a particle vibrates it has to do work against the damping force so a certain fraction of energy is always dissipated in the form of energy for damped oscillatory motion so we already obtained the energy of a particle of mass m for damped oscillatory motion we know it is equal to e equal to e naught into e to the power minus 2k t so after a full time period t the energy let it be e1 that is after t 
तो e वन इक्वल टू ई नॉट इनटू ई टू द पावर माइनस टू के इनटू टी प्लस कैपिटल टी तो दैट इज इक्वल टू ई नॉट इनटू ई टू द पावर माइनस टू के टी इनटू स्मॉल ई टू द पावर माइनस टू के कैपिटल टी दैट मस्ट बी इक्वल टू e into small e to the power minus 2k t so loss of energy in this case for one time period is equal to e minus e1 that's equal to e minus e into e to the power minus 2k capital t so that must be equal to e minus e into 1 minus 2 kt plus 4 k square t square by 2 factorial minus it goes like this. It's simple expansion. So considering those terms, e minus e into 1 minus 2 kt. So we are neglecting the higher order terms of k. Therefore, e minus e1 is equal to 2 into e. Into k into t. So, what is the rate of loss? So, the rate of loss of energy over a time period is equal to two into e into k. That is, b into e into b into e by m. Why? Since we know that two k equal to b by m. So, we have what? These values as dissipation of power in damped harmonic vibratory motion. So with this, we have come to the end of this topic as well as this video of damped vibration. Meet you in the next video for force vibration. Thank you.